Hi everyone, uh, this is Satish Sholi from Civil Engineering Department. Today we are going to see an intake structure. And this video is in second part of my intake structure video. Previously you have seen uh, what do you mean by intake structure, the different types of intake structure. Okay, so this is a one part of a simple submerged intake structure over here. So that we are going to see it. Okay, so previously you have seen uh, uh, various types see lake reserve reservoir intake river intake and canal intake so this is a continuation of those intake structure itself so today we are going to see uh, regarding a submerged intake structure so it's in simple concrete block or in rock filled timber supported by grub okay to the conduit uh, to, to that drawing pipe itself okay to the conduit itself and the sum tank is being generally you can see here the sum tank is being generally constructed on the shores of the river river and if you got an intake over here the conduit is been supported by curb it may be of concrete okay the conduit may be of in cast iron itself and some uh, and it is been covered by a screen over here you can see here we have got a screen which is been covered uh, which is been covered so that the debris should not enter the intake structure itself so this is in a river or a lake okay so this is an intake and this is in some fuel again what he says so it is generally constructed uh, above 2 to 1.5 so that the silt should not enter so this is a little bit higher from that uh, low uh, low level itself around say 2 to 2.5 meters above so he has given it in that sense because uh, it should not cover by any silt itself and generally it has been placed in a uh, lakes or uh, streams and uh, in such a place site it should not bury under sediment Okay, so this part should not bury under that sediment itself. So this is a simple concrete uh, intake structure, submerged intake structure. So next part, again what he says is, so again intake structures can be divided into two types. Um, so that a river or a reservoir intake can be divided into two types. One is in wet, uh, wet intake towers, another one is in dry intake towers. So major difference between a wet intake towers, uh, major difference between a wet intake towers and a um, dry intake tower is nothing but in wet intake tower always there is a presence of water in that structure but else in a dry intake structure there is absolutely no presence of water in those intake structure. So generally this intake structure is in a shell of a concrete or you can say reinforced steel itself okay so it is constructed up to a reservoir level itself it has got a vertical shaft and where the water conduit is being drawn over here okay so it is being connected directly to the conduit pipes itself okay in shell we have got an uh, opening there is in mind okay for uh, in inside the concrete shell as well as we have got an outside also okay and there is a shaft which regulate the flow of water and this conduits uh, this conduits which takes the water directly to the treatment unit itself okay so this is all about okay and wet intake structures now we will see what regarding a dry intake structures so dry intake structures is nothing but here also we have got in concrete shell over here itself okay so the major difference between an intake structures of uh, dry and uh, wet is that in a wet intake structure what happens there is the water enters the ports then to the tower itself you can see here the water enters to the ports then to that uh, intake uh, uh, this itself okay entry ports itself but okay and uh, there are two separate gates over here in this structure we have got in two separate gates over here but where else in a dry intake structure the directly it is being conduit uh, means uh, it is connected or it is being drawn directly to a conduit okay and the gate is provided at that entry port over here itself okay so when the gates are being closed there is no water inside that intake structure so this is a major difference between in uh, river intake uh, sorry in uh, wet intake as well as in dry intake itself again river intake uh, structures can be divided into two types there are uh, uh, twin tower intake or can say twin well type or a single well type 
so uh, the difference between those are nothing but here uh, there are uh, two wells which are been constructed okay so in uh, single there is a single well over here itself. okay so most uh, the twin tower wells uh, are uh, used especially in karnataka itself in alluvial river itself okay especially uh, in the krishna river basin especially in belgam district itself so you can see easily you can see on the river of dur ganga ved ganga when we travel from nipani to kolapur itself you can find uh, twin tower wells itself you can see in uh, near hidkal dam also okay so generally the the typical structures consist of an intake well an intake pipe and a jack well itself okay it may be built of uh, concrete or a machinery structure or a structure rises above that of an hfl level that's in uh, high flood level itself okay so entry ports consists consist of an screen bars and it has been placed around uh, say 50 to 30 center to center spacing okay and the diameter of the bars usually it is around 20 mm and the velocity uh, they, they tend to restrict in velocity around 15 to 20 centimeter per second okay so that the debris uh, which is uh, getting inside those well should be prevented so now as i stated earlier there are uh, two uh, two terms here means two, two wells over here okay one is an intake well one is in uh, as we can see here is in jack well over here okay. as typically we, we uh, this is shown typical uh, uh, what it consists of okay so this is in uh, withdrawing or again con withdraw withdrawn conduit okay the conduit pipe over here so there is an intake there is a jack well there is a conduit pipe over here usually there are two to three levels entry ports are being made okay so that water can be drawn uh, in case of in uh, low stage when uh, during a summer season when the water level drop down the medium stage okay as well as during a fl high flood level okay you can make a water enter in that so they can be made into three stages so intake uh, is connected to an jack well over here okay through an conduit pipe okay so this intake pipe is also constructed of an rcc okay and it depths may be around one to two meter and so and this is also called as an uh, jackwell intake pipe and it has been generally slope around 1 is to 200 towards this jackwell itself and the velocity here it is being restricted to around say 1.22 sorry 1.2 meter per second over here okay and this pipe size should not be less than 45 centimeters if it is less than that what happens again uh, there is an debris which may enter into that they can they may be choked okay and it may cause many problems to that intake structure itself okay so water enters through this jack well and from the jack well there is a pump uh, which uh, takes the water out and delivers it to a treatment unit itself so this jack well may have an uh, uh, what i can say in diameter of four to five meters okay so this is all about twin well type of intake structure or can say some books they have stated as an twin tower intake also next one a single tower intake or can say single well type of an intake structure so as the previous case there was an additional structure over here but now there is no additional structure over here okay and in uh, uh, what you can say twin tower intake one is uh, in the river bed another one is on the shore okay so this jack well is always on the shore itself now with the single type uh, structure this is constructed near and weir itself okay where you tend to store the water and you tend to rise the water level okay it is generally constructed near the sleeves itself okay or near the weir itself sorry yeah, the sleeves uh, it is generally constructed near the weir itself Okay. and where the water is being collected and it is being taken to in canals or to in conduits 
okay and the necessary uh, where you want to supply the water you are going to supply it here it consists of a single jack valve over here there is no intake structure only we have got a jack valve over here okay and this uh, what it does it eliminates a separated arrangement regarding in uh, separate intake wall or in again an intake pipe over here which is which is necessary to connect both the towers or uh, twin wells itself okay one for an from intake towards in jack valve over here as we have seen here it has been uh, there is an pipe conduit which is connect which connects this intake towards the, that jack valve over here so these two are eliminated over here okay in this case these two are been eliminated so we tend to make some entry ports over here and for that entry ports what we do we place some screen bars okay to remove those debris and all so water directly enters to this jack well and from where the water is been lifted up over here and it should be constructed where there is less sedimentation okay and normally what happens here is in this tower the sediments are tend to settle down at the bottom over here the, the in the bottom we call it as an uh, uh, silt zone over here okay where those sediments tend to collected over there and the water has been again the water has been lifted up and these well need to be cleaned up periodically it is necessary to clean up these well periodically itself okay so this was all about in single well type of an intake structure in some books they have call it as in single tower intake structure okay so here we call it as in single well type of intake structure so thank you thank you very much this was all about intake structure in uh, for that uh, first semester that is 18 uh, cv 46 it's in second model and for 17 uh, CV uh, 64, it is in fifth model itself. Okay. So, thank you, thank you very much.